I get golfers quite just regularly. I've got them hitting the ball really nicely, and the ball's going down the middle of this pretty wide range, okay? I tell them now, they're going, wow, that's super. I say, okay, now I want you to hit the ball as close as you can to the white marker. <clears throat> Man, they shank it, slice it, pull hook it, everything under the sun. And they've been hitting the ball all over the dumb thing without trying. And as soon as I tell them to hit it there, they can't even come close. Now, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. But I see it all the time. It's just very common. Because all of a sudden, now they're trying. Now, stop and think if I can process this properly. Once I give you a target, then the way you get to that target in your mind is to make sure the club's on the ball perfectly. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. So all of a sudden, your whole focus is on that ball and contact with it instead of what this feels like. <laughs> now, all I want you to do is learn to feel what a golf swing feels like. Okay? Here in front of you. Okay, so set up one more and we'll hit this one right where you want it. <laughs> That's a pretty bold statement, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I know why I'm going to the left also. Okay. Because I wasn't really... Well, part of it is your feet are going over there and the power point is way over there where this ball is. Oh, okay. So if I take this now and move it, you set your feet up first, okay? Now, see where I put the... No, don't aim to this. Don't aim... Just set up somewhere and oh, feel comfortable. just set the feet up. Yeah. Okay. Now, see where the, your feet are now? Yep. See where I got the power point? Yep. Now swing to it. Oh, it'll go. Uh, you got it fixed now. A lot better. Got it? Yeah. All right. Let's get someone else. <laughs> Kill that golf ball. Who wants to go next? Like that. You've got to pop it. Does that make sense? And in golf swing... If we're slightly, if we've turned properly and not done something wrong incorrectly, this goes down a little bit. As we rotate, this comes up a little bit. This is being thrown down, relaxed. We've got the down here and the up here. We've got this whip going on because we're popping it down there. So, what do you want to do here? Some problems with the hybrid. I know, everybody does. Let me see if there's something wrong with your club. A lot of these golf clubs aren't any good these days. And, oh yeah, it's a club, I can tell. It's a golf club. I don't think so. Okay, just pick it up and do your V, just like we've been doing, that ball fly. Everybody tries to help hit it forward and up. Just swing the club and your power point's here and low to the ground. Okay? You should feel exactly like you do swing that wedge and eight iron, like you just swing back and throw it and reach down after the shot. And Okay, what else you want to hit? That feel different? <laughs> you follow what we're doing there? Yeah. Yeah. You're not letting the club go on down after the shot, after the impact. There you go. Even went down a little extra, but look at the ball fly. No problem now, is there? No. Oh. And we all do that. This is something we all fight. All these people are laughing, but they're laughing because they do the same thing. All right? Oh, yeah. Everybody does it. Check one more, and I'll get somebody else over here. Who's next? It was uh, three years ago, I was invited by a friend of mine to go down to San Diego to play golf with Phil Mickelson. And... Uh, a friend of mine to go down to San Diego to play golf with Phil Mickelson and uh, and his brother Timmy you know we're on the driving range hitting balls and I try to tell tell Phil I need some I need at least four strokes aside from you and he looked at me and he says you're not getting four strokes aside and I said what do you mean I says I'm an amateur and I'm you know just a poor old insurance boy he says not with a wedge game like that, you're not. And I said, what are you talking about? He says, "You, I've been watching you down the end of the range. You've got the same techniques that I use in a wedge. And I says, really? And he says, well, what do you think about it? So we talked to each other about it. And our philosophies were almost identical with the wedge game. And it's all stuff that Daryl's taught me. And we go out and play and he shoots 67, I shoot 68 that day. So is when I first started taking lessons from Daryl and you know talking to him well what does Ledbetter know what does Haney know what does Pelts know what do all these guys do and he goes 
go see him. He said, see what they have to say. So I went to their clinics and classes and saw what they had to say and I came back and I said, they don't know any more than you do. Actually, you know more than they do and you make it easy. I said, they're more mechanical, yours is more feel and the natural. My swing is like the arm, you want to move it this way. Yeah, don't do that. Up, straight in, then there you go. Now take a through swing, take a through swing, finish. Finish, yeah. Now wait right there, now do this. Swing it all the way back, hard. There's where you should be almost. Wow. <laughs> you feel that? So now start there and throw it, swing it over there. Don't lead it, throw it. Get some action going, throw that sucker. It'll pull you where you belong. There, feel the difference? Now you got over there so you had something to go back with. But throw that sucker to a nice, there you go. Throw it to a good backswing. You'll feel a lot of coil. Keep your weight in the inside of your right foot and just go for it. Holy cow, I'm not playing you for money. No. You better now? <laughs> Revelation. I've been uh -huh. struggling for 10 years trying to get better. And uh, I'm convinced I'm going to be much better now going back. I know what to do, know how to do it. So why did, why did you come here today? What did you want to find out? How, what brought you here? You. <laughs> Me? Uh-oh. You're in trouble. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I have virtually everything that you put out and it's every little bit helps and again though I go back to the basics. Yeah. Now have confidence where I can pull pull out the driver, pull out the three wood and head off the tee and not not be afraid to pull it out of the bag. I wait a minute, I'm already skilled this, at it. This, this is the time to do it. Yes, exactly. exactly. Do, the little do you see the tire in your mind? Absolutely. Oh good, Absolutely. I love you. You good. It's, it's a big tractor tire. Woo. Wow. Wow. Do you hit that little fade most of the time? Just a little bit. So you've never, you said you've never broken 100 in the time you played golf, and you were tracking out here today to shoot 90-91, which is pretty darn good. Yeah, that's really good. Now, Ray, you've been kind of an average, maybe 90, average 92, 95 player, somewhere in there. Sometimes still, you know, shooting in the hundreds, but uh, okay. last few last few rounds I've been uh, shooting in the nineties. Okay, um, and you were tracking today, shooting about an eighty-five or six, eighty-four or five, something like that. Yes. And did you feel any pressure? No, absolutely zero pressure. <laughs> Great. The one thing that I wanted to say, the thing that I learned the most, uh, and anybody that has the PowerPoint DVD. Uh, Really getting your body pivot around and your and your hands close to your hip pocket uh, adds probably 50% to the power in the shot. Just getting your body coming through at the same time as your whipping club comes through. It's amazing. Uh, when you catch it flush, it, it really goes. Huge amount of difference, isn't it? Huge. Absolutely. That makes Excellent. It simple, doesn't it? Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Now watch me. I'm going to hit a shot, please. Here's what I do personally. I don't care if I'm. Okay, your tire's over here. <laughs> there you go, now you go down the middle. How's that? Yep. This is so simple, it's pathetic. I'll tell you what, it's easier than playing checkers. Whoa. There you go. Uh, that's the shot of the day. Would you care if you finished there every time if you hit the ball like that? No, I don't I just put where one of the cups <laughs> Proud of you. That's gorgeous. Who wants to try next, Ola? And my scores were in the 120 range. I thought this was a very complex uh, uh, game, uh, not easily mastered. I started asking around uh, uh, Visalia uh, about an, uh, instructors, and Daryl's uh, name came up several times when I asked uh, uh, some of the better golfers in our areas as to who could uh, get me to a place where I wouldn't embarrass myself, and I was very concerned about that. And, uh, but I figured I, I needed help and Daryl was uh, very gracious, very reassuring with um, uh, really uh, maybe about 10 lessons from Daryl. I'm now shooting in the uh, high 80s and low 90s. Um, a single bogey golfer, uh, Daryl told me that I could be a single bogey golfer in approximately a year. And it turned out to be the case. I didn't believe him when he said it, uh, but it, it did turn out. Yeah, it should be fun. Well, what in the world brought you to our little community? 
So I started playing golf in college, um, got down to about a 10, Good. then decided to start working and paying uh -huh. off all my loans, <laughs> and my golf game fell apart, yeah. and I've been trying to get back to where I was without a hope, Okay. and um, I, it just doesn't feel right anymore, and I don't even okay. know what a, a swing should feel like. You'll go home with that today, I, I promise you. That. You yeah. will. I promise you. And I've gone to lessons with guys, and they break out the video cameras and show me videos of other people. And I'm like, I can do this all day long by myself. Yeah, get the doesn't mean anything. In me. It's meaningless. But yeah. what I do is I work really hard to get my golfers to learn how to feel a golf swing and to understand it and have some kind of idea what it's all about. Yeah. Well, I know. Uh, I always appreciate when guys come to see me sitting out here in the middle of California. I'm not really famous or well known. Why in the world do you come to see me instead of some of these other some famous guy? <laughs> Very honestly, I a uh, uh, long time ago, a number of years ago now, that that uh, we have met. I, I got a couple of your videos and very honestly the reason I got your videos is because of the way you look very honestly um, I figured that if somebody of your build and your size um, which is what I am maybe a little shorter could teach golf then that's the person I want to learn from <laughs> and <laughs> not necessarily a... some guy who's six four and weighs 165 yeah. pounds well, that's a great answer and uh, you said you had bad knees and at that point I had had a hip replaced so I figured what the heck I mean I can't get much closer to me <laughs> and have somebody teach me how to swing a golf club worth a shot <laughs> well, go. what brought you here today just want to get better. <laughs> yeah? How long you played? Actually, you know what really brought me here? So I wanted to make sure you were a living human being. <laughs> Saw you on the videos, loved you on the videos. I said, I, I got to meet this guy. Oh, you're sweet. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Uh, what kind of scores do you shoot? I'm usually in the mid-90s. Okay. Yeah. What did you come to learn? What do you hope to learn out of this? Um, I was really excited about the, the ability to learn how to use my hands and my arms. Good. Because... Um, I don't think I'm using them properly. I have a tendency to get my arms off my body, and yeah. you know, very common. And very uh, really, common. and you know, playing football like I used to okay. do, I tend to power things down yeah. you know, instead of letting things yeah. out. And, and every one of them says, "Oh yeah, there's a difference because the one with 10,000 RPMs is going to have more air pressure on it. It's going to stay in the air a little longer. It's going farther." <coughs> Did everybody get that? Really get it? Mm -hmm. If you really got it, then your objective will not be to hit this long, it'll be to spin it hard. <laughs> okay? I never have the objective of hitting the ball hard. I have the objective of spinning it sharply, so I put enough spin so it stays in the air an extra 10 yards more than yours does. Okay? I want mine to stay in the air longer. I can hit it far. Well, I can't even put words to it. Zach. No, it's been a tremendous experience. As you know, I, I decided to do it at the last minute was a bit of a pressure and my husband didn't know anything about it but we happened to be heading south he came with me he came along dropped me off and cited it was so incredible he had to be in the school as well and he's joined he's having a lot of fun too and you know the videos are great and i've i've watched them but to be with this man daryl classen and listen to him and enjoy his humor and enjoy his integrity and his genuineness it makes everything worthwhile and I know that our golf's going to be better. I've never heard golf taught like this, ever.